Hey students, welcome to the class. So today I have come up with a very interesting question. So this is basically an algebra problem that only a student with strongest fundamentals can solve. So let's see how strong your fundamentals are. All right, so let's take a look at the question. So which one is greater? 3 root 3 or 1 plus root 5? Now, one way to do this, you would simply say that, ma'am, we would put the value of root 5, we add up to, we add, we'll add that value to 1 and we will get the result. Similarly for here, root 3 as well. But not everybody knows how to find out the values for root numbers, right? So, another way to do is, what we will do here, we will try removing the root. But how to do that? To remove the square root, what I can do is, I can do squaring both these numbers. So, let's square these numbers here. Let's square this number as well as this number. I think that's the only way like where we can remove the roots from here. So 3 root 3. What is 3 root 3? That's 3 root 3 whole square is 3 root 3 times 3 root 3. Right? And 1 plus root 5 whole square. I have seen a lot many times students making this mistake. They would simply say a plus b whole square is a square plus b square. Please do not forget the by, that we have to use the algebraic identity to solve this. That's going to be a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here in this question, 1 is basically representing a and root 5 is representing b. I'll simply apply this identity here. This is going to be 1 square plus root 5 square plus 2 times 1 times root 5. Simple, right? Now, root this 3 times 3, 3 times 3 is 9 and root 3 times root 3, root 3 times root 3, they give you 3, right? So 9 times 3, simple. Now 1 square is going to be 1 plus root 5 square. That means root 5 times root 5, this becomes 5, right? And this is 2 times 1 times root 5, that's going to be 2 root 5. All right. So till now we have 27 here and this is 6 plus 2 root 5. Okay, now how do I compare it? Again, we are stuck. We have 27 here. Again, we have a number over here. That is 6 plus 2 root 5. Let's do one thing. Let's remove this 6 from here. But if I'm removing 6 from here, so what will I do? To remove it, simply I'll subtract 6 from here since it is added here. So if I'm subtracting 6 from here, I'll have to subtract 6 from here as well. Same operation we'll be applying on both of them. So that's going to be 21, right? And here 6 and 6 will get cancelled out. I'm only, I will only be left with 2 root 5. Again, how do I compare 21 and 2 root 5? Again, we are stuck. Again, to remove the square root, I'll simply do squaring of both these numbers. So let's do squaring of these numbers. We have 21 square and we have 2 root 5 whole square. And what is that going to be? This is simple. 21 times 21. This is 2 root 5 times 2 root 5. Now, this is simply be, this simply going to be equals to 21 times 21 is nothing but that's 441. Here, 2 times 2 is 4 and root 5 times root 5, that will give you 5. So, you have 20 here. So, 441 and 20, that's very simple. It's easy to compare these numbers. Definitely, 441 is greater. So, now you can clearly tell which one is greater. Obviously, that's going to be 3 root 3. That's the greater number over here. Wow, wasn't that an interesting one? Now leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this question.